uh, for business and personal that we have to break out in accordance with the rules and the tax code, which we'll talk about in detail later. So useful items, publications that you can take a look at. Uh, we've got publication 463, travel, gift, and car expenses. So the, the car expenses and travel is a common area of contention. Sometimes the IRS is going to put in differentiations between what is constituting as a, a travel being like an overnight travel versus local uh, use of the car, for example, which might be categorized in uh, different areas. Meals and entertainment oftentimes has a limitation of 50% deduction, but if it was categorized as travel, maybe you can get the full deduction in some cases if it was travel versus like meals and entertainment. So you want to like those questions come up. So 946 uh, to depreciate property. So depreciation is another huge topic. If they're a small business and they just like are a YouTuber or something like that, they might not have much equipment. You know, they probably got like a microphone and stuff, but that probably not a whole lot of things that, that are gonna complicate depreciation too much. But some businesses, of course, need to buy assets. That's the barrier to entry, right? They're buying equipment in order to enter into the field, into the business that they are in. And that, that equipment, then we have to make sure that we have on depreciation schedules and are properly calculating depreciation, which again, even if they are a perfect bookkeeper, they won't be able to perfectly calculate depreciation, at least not on a tax basis typically, because the tax calculation for depreciation is slightly different than generally, or very different in many times than generally accepted accounting principles. And therefore, at least for taxes, even if you have the best bookkeeper in the world, they are generally gonna to have to be dependent on tax software to help with the calculation of depreciation and therefore us, if we're doing tax preparation for businesses, even small businesses have to be familiar with uh, when something has to be capitalized for depreciation and how to calculate depreciation.